number of workers at the Hanford nuclear facility have gotten sick over the past week after being exposed to unknown toxic fumes. Two workers last week and nine more today went to the hospital or an on-site medical clinic with respiratory problems and other symptoms. King 5 investigator Susanna Frame broke the story today and has the latest. This is an extremely high number of employees to get sick from toxic exposures at Hanford in just one week's time. Sources tell us workers' symptoms range from coughing and stinging eyes to nosebleeds, chest pains, difficulty breathing, and at least one worker coughing up blood. There needs to be an investigation of these incidents and why it is that this company is not fulfilling its obligations to protect its own workers. Tom Carpenter of the Citizen Watchdog Group, Hanford Challenge, has tracked what's called toxic vapor exposures at the nuclear facility for more than 20 years. We're talking people's lives, right? You talk to each of these people, they've got kids and obviously families and whatnot, and they're scared to death now about what's going to happen to them after these exposures. The first incident happened a week ago. Two men inhaled fumes and are still getting medical care because of it. Then this morning, in the same area, four more workers ingested vapors and were transported to an on-site medical clinic. In spite of that, the company sent two more employees out to investigate, and they got sick as well. We found they were not wearing appropriate protective gear. Then this afternoon, in a different location, three more employees inhaled chemical fumes. Two went to the hospital by ambulance and one to the on-site clinic. 11 workers total exposed to noxious chemicals in one week. And Hanford has a duty to protect the workers at this site. They are doing an important cleanup, and yet their lives and health are being sacrificed, uh, you know, for money because they don't, the companies aren't spending the money to protect them. So all the employees that got sick work for one government contractor that's WRPS or Washington River Protection Solutions. And many of those employees that we talked to today say they're frustrated with WRPS for not installing more monitoring systems to detect chemical releases. But tonight, we did get a statement from the company. They say they have a comprehensive monitoring program and that they've made several improvements in recent years to reduce vapor exposures. Uh, either way, it's no good for the workers and they don't know how long they're gonna feel bad if this could turn into something you know, more serious. So we'll be following it, of course. All right, Susanna, thank you.